In golf, the terms one plane and two plane refer to two different types of swing planes or swing philosophies. These terms are often used to describe the golfer's swing style and how their club moves during the swing. Here's a brief overview of each. In a one plane golf swing, the golfer's swing plane is relatively flat and on a single plane. This means that the golfer's arms and the club shaft are on the same plane throughout the swing. The one plane swing is often associated with a more rotational and compact motion. Preminent golfers known for using a one-plane swing include Ben Hogan and Mo Norman. In a two-plane swing, the golfer's swing is characterized by a more upright backswing and a shallower downswing. During the backswing, the club often moves on a steeper plane, and during the downswing, it transitions to a flatter plane. The two-plane swing can provide more power, but it may require more precise timing and coordination. Prominent golfers known for using a two-plane swing include Tiger Woods and Auden Scott. What does that mean in basic English? Well, well, the one plane swing, your club believes the earth is flat and it insists on staying on that same level throughout the entire swing. There are no global curves or slopes on those swings. The two plane swing is like a roller coaster for your club. It takes a steep uphill climb on the backswing and then plunges its way down to the ball, creating a thrilling golf experience. But what does this all mean? Which one is good for you? Well, let's talk about this because certain body types can influence a golfer's natural tendencies and preferences when it comes to their golf swing, but they don't strictly dictate whether a golfer should use a one plane or two plane swing. Golfers of various body types can be successful with either type of swing, but here is how the body types can play a role. Golfers with greater flexibility in their shoulders, hips, and spine may find it easier to execute a one plane swing as it often requires a more compact and rotational motion. However, this doesn't mean golfers with less flexibility cannot use a one-plane swing. They may just need to work on their flexibility and adapt their technique. Taller golfers may naturally have a more upright backswing due to their height. This may lend itself to a two-plane swing, which tends to have a steeper backswing. Shorter golfers may find it easier to maintain a flatter plane, which aligns with a one-plane swing. However, exceptions abound, and many tall golfers have successful one-plane swings and vice versa. A golfer's physical strength and coordination also play a significant role. A two-plane swing with its steeper downswing can generate more club head speed, which may be an advantage for stronger players. However, players with excellent coordination can control a one-plane swing effectively. Ultimately though, a golfer's body type may influence their initial tendencies, but personal preferences, comfort, and practice can override these influences. Golfers should work with a coach to find a swing style that suits their unique attributes and preferences. In a nutshell, you all have unique DNA swings in you from the moment you were born. But don't feel shy about working with a PGA or LPGA coach near you because they can really help you grow and extend your golf swing for many years. I hope you enjoyed this little detail of what a one plane and two plane swing is and how you can swing either way or even a zero plane swing by sitting on the couch watching TV. Hope that helps you, Ferris and Green.